Hi writers and everyone who wants to make money online as a side hustle or a main hustle. So first of all, there are so many ways of making money online. Authentic ways that do not include you getting scammed. However, you will need to work very hard for you to actually earn money through working on internet based platforms. So if you go to this website, youronlinefreelancingsolution.com, the pinned post actually gives you 16 ways that you can use to make money online. I will talk about all these ways and more in the next video. Uh, so you can wait for that video or just click on this website and this post and read all about that. Disclaimer, I am not selling any products and I am not showing you any easy way to make money online. Whichever tips that all these people in the groups share, it will involve you actually getting your hands dirty. So you will need to do some work. Those who work online can tell you it's not as easy as signing up for an account or liking a post or even joining a group. When I first came across this group that was showing people how they can actually make this much money a month, writing or just being freelancers online, I was shocked. I shouldn't have because I had made some money online and I always knew that there were people who were making more money than I did ever in my life. One of the easiest ways of making money online or from the internet, besides knowing which jobs you actually want to do, is to build social proof that you can showcase to your potential employers to prove that you can deliver great work to them. Social proof may be previous samples of work you have done for other clients or work that you have published on other people's websites or blogs or something that you have done. This is the difficult part for most newbies or people who are new to the industry because you do not have this social proof that said you do not need to worry i will show you how to create social proof so that when clients come to you or when you are approaching clients you have something to show them please keep in mind that some clients will always ask you for a sample and if it is not too much effort like doing one or two thousand words you should do it however Please know that there are clients who are bad and they actually defraud online workers by giving you samples that they use and they never pay for. I have learned that one of the best platforms for building social proof is having your own blog or website. Now, before you panic, blogs and websites are easy to set up and work on and you actually own the rights to your work and you can publish anything and everything you want. Some blogs and websites can actually be free of charge, meaning you do not pay for hosting, you do not buy a domain, you just set up one. I will show you which sources allow you to do that. And in other instances, you can buy a domain and even buy hosting for it. So that I will discuss much later. I will show you where you can get these free blogs and websites and how you can set them up to be professional and to carry everything that you need them to. So some of the sites that allow you to set up free blogs and websites are WordPress, Wix, Simple Site, and so many others. For these ones, you just create an account with them and your blog is live. Places where you can purchase domains and even buy hosting include Godaddy, Bluehost, WordPress Pro, and others. So allow me to talk about WordPress, where you can set up your free blog or website, and you can transfer that to a purchased hosting if you need to. So first of all, you go to the website wordpress.com. This is how you create your free WordPress blog or website on any browser on your computer or any mobile gadget. Type wordpress.com. You can scroll down to see what it's all about, but I want us to focus on creating an account. So you click on get started and you'll be required to fill in your email address. You choose a name and your password and you're free to create an account. So once you have filled in all your details, you click create account. 
and you have a browser that will need to save your password you might get this information click yes if you want to click never if you do not want to save your password once you have created your account you'll be taken to step two or four and that is where you need to input the name of your website or your blog and what your website will be about and you can choose all these other details next you need to choose what you will be blogging about or writing on your website you can always change these details much later but for now let's assume we want to talk about writing and then what's the primary goal you have for your website so you need to choose between all these for instance i want to share ideas and all these other things so let's assume i'm a beginner so i'll give myself a one or two and then i will click continue so for now allow me to give this name as maggie writer so WordPress is loading to give me so many other things. So if I choose this dot com, dot com, dot me, dot net, all these are actually purchased domains. So you see this is, includes a paid plan. But dot WordPress dot com, so you can scroll down to see which ones are paid and which ones are not paid. So these are paid plans. I want a free one. So let's assume I have chosen Magirita. I want more extensions because some of these have paid plans and I don't want this. So we click more extensions. And then you can scroll down with this. There are so many. You cannot exhaust this. So if I want dot home dot blog that's for now click on this one or let's go back one step and see what maggie dot blog has so this one does not have a free option and i want a free option because if you choose this you're going to be purchasing with this much so we chose so we chose the free option and then we are going to choose this one so we start with free awesome your website has been set up so basically this is your wordpress account and on this account you can add more domains or more websites and blogs you can create pages you can create blog posts you can check the activity on your website and so on and so forth so allow me to take so if you want to write something on your website remember you have not set up much so you have created your site you have picked a website address you have updated your site title and you need to confirm your email address so go to your email address and click the confirmation email that was sent to you so I will go to my email address and then here is the email that was sent from WordPress and then I scroll down and click on the confirmation link. So I just click here to confirm. So as soon as you click on the confirmation email, you will be redirected to your account. So WordPress shows you your progress, your email, your site creation, your website address. And your site title if you want to add remember that i told you you can update the title of your site you will come here and edit but for now assuming we are happy with our title if you Choose want you can update the site icon show you how you do this let me show you what a site icon is this is what site icons are see these small images at the side of my websites so if i click on one of these websites so when you access this website, the site icon is this small image over here, here and here. So basically, if you check them from your WordPress, this is how they are going to look like. Please watch this video to see how you set your site icons. So this is how you set your site icon. Click on do it. And you can select an image from your laptop or whatever gadget you're using. 
so if you don't like this you click on change and then assuming this is what it has clicked if you need a new one click add new and then you can select from the gallery of your images so you click add new so once you have selected the folder that has image you want assuming this is the image you want to click on open and the image has been loaded and if you want to change you just click on this and you will see this tick so you want to choose that and you click continue if you want to rotate you flip it if you want to crop it you choose all those assuming i am done i just click on that wait for it there it is site tagline i might want to say i am the best writer remember i wrote that i am a writer so there i have my tagline if i want to change it i will just come through if I want to change it, I will just go through the process and change it. So if I want to add a custom address, I will do that. So I'll make sure to save your settings. Otherwise, your changes will not be saved. Here are a few things to note. If you want your site to go public immediately, you just click public. If you want it to be hidden for now, you click here. Some people may want to privatize it or to hide their site as they work on their details. So make sure you click accordingly. This footer credit refers to the, the this footer credit refers to the image or the text that appears at the bottom of your site. You might want to change it or not. Please continue scrolling so that you can change or edit your website as you need so assuming we are done with that we are going to return to checklist and that item the tag the site icon and the tagline have been edited so if you want to upload a profile picture you click on do it if you want to write about yourself so you might want to change your name here I want to call myself Maggie. I want to upload my image. You basically upload the same I showed you the other one. You choose a file that you want from your laptop. Choose an image and choose something and then you upload it. Drag to make sure that you choose the image as you want it. It looks good. Change my photo. So there it is. If you want to write about yourself, I am Maggie and I write or I do transcription or I do this and that. You type your information here. You save your profile details. If you do not save, then your details will not show. So you might want to scroll down. If you have profile links, like if you have uh, another website or some professional accounts or Facebook, you can add here. You can add a WordPress site if you already have another one or here like a Facebook account. So you will need to paste that URL here. For instance, I can paste here and then write here, it's Facebook. So I will delete that for now. I don't want to link to anything and make sure I have saved my details above. So you see, you do not need a professional to do this for you because you can actually do all this yourself and it's very easy. So the details look good. You go back to your checklist. So if you had not inserted these details, please do. So I'm just typing random stuff. Then I will save profile details. Now let's get to. You go to my site. This is where you get the details about like. So your site is new. There haven't been any visitors, and you do not have any metrics. So for now, you need to create a page, maybe the landing page or about us. Let's click. So you click here, site page. 
so site pages are these tabs where you have different information for instance i have an about me page the projects i'm doing some images contact so for instance if i click on about this will give more information about me so as that loads so this is where you add what is it that you the page then if you have something to write here you just type and then you might want to add an image or something else so if you want to add an image add a block that is a tab or a paragraph you want to add an image you click on this small icon and then you can upload from your laptop or if you already have images that you have uploaded to your laptop you click on this so allow me to show you these ones these are the images you had already uploaded these two remember this was there this is what we uploaded so we'll click on that and then we are going to start this is going to appear on your page i will go to the page to your website i will go to the website you created and show you this tab so for now you can if you want to write a caption you write this is me or whatever you want to write here these are other details you might need to insert what do you want to say about alternative text is what other caption would you have so make sure you scroll these details i'm showing you an easy way but you can find all these topics in these videos here and they will explain how to do everything step by step so please don't go back before you click publish publish is where you save and the changes become live unless you want to hide this page for some time in which case you click here and see if you want to make it private that no one sees it if it is something that you want only the people who have the password to access for now we want it to be public so you click publish so here is that website that we created and since we have created only one page which is about us and this is what we typed in you scroll down this is the image that we inserted on the caption that was reading this is me so we have another page contact and if you scroll down so the contact had already been inserted by wordpress So your page is now live and published so if you want to add a block for this you can still edit it but for now we back we want to add another page just one more page and we want to call our page gallery and you can write your story here and you can insert very many images here or text and then you make sure that you publish so if you go back to your website you refresh and then you should see that you have so you can edit as many details as you want but now to the most important part you created your website so that you can update your content whether it is images or text and that is where you come to creating blog posts so you click on add or you can click on write here but mostly just come here click add you need to add the title of your blog and then you write the story as you insert images and then you save everything and then that is that and it goes live and basically that is how you set up your wordpress website slash blog and publish your content please watch this video as it has a free course on how to edit and publish and create everything related to wordpress blogs including how you change the images how you change the outlook of your website update content blog publish thrive Please subscribe to my channel. Subscription is free of charge. All you need is to scroll down below the video you just watched and then find this subscribe button. Click on it. It should show that your subscription has been added 
and then so that you don't miss the notifications just click on the notification bell there thanks again for watching and for the subscription see you in the next video